Welcome to Simply Off Track. This week we left the South Island after a month and now have gotten the ferry to Wellington. In this episode we go to Wellington's top rated tourist attraction, do a hike in the city itself and walk around the CBD area as we try to figure out what our plan is for a North Island road trip. We're leaving Wellington. Yeah, we're just gonna leave. Good morning. We made it to the North Island. Yep, yep. So much on the ferry? Not oh, really. I was very queasy. Mm. Plus it was very dark. Honestly, bad not ferry. bad ferry. For what you pay for between the two of us for the campground was 200 euro for the crossing. Uh, there was no plugs to charge anything up. Wi-Fi was terrible. And it was just very old. Very old, yeah. Kind of the, style. Like, like cracked leather seats. Yeah. That been there for like 20 years. It was just... Not great, but very anyway. Very cold. We're here yeah. now. We made it to here. Wellington. We had a actually grand enough sleep last night, bar mm -hmm. the wind. The car was like, they it like it was an earthquake. The wind was shaking in the car I, so much. Yeah, I definitely see why they call it Windy Welly. Because <laughs> yeah. it's been windy. So, we decided to go to the next most popular destination, which is... The Weta workshop. Now, this is the workshop where they did all the effects prosthetics. and prosthetics and all, so we're excited. The Weta workshop is best known for making props, weapons, armor, and costumes for the Lord of the Rings and for the Hobbit movies. That's right, this is the place where the magic was made for these famous movies. As you walk in, you essentially walk into a gift shop, but kind of also is an exhibition for props that were used. You can do a guided tour which costs $50, but we decided against it because the tour that was ongoing during this time didn't have much Lord of the Rings stuff in it, so yeah but it's still really cool to look at these art pieces and will definitely give you some inspiration if you're into some miniature art painting. Oh, look at the masks and all, Sean. Oh yeah, no way. They're really cool. That's savage. The Weather Workshop worked with loads of other movies such as Avatar, Narnia and more. So I can definitely see why this place is a must to visit when you're in Wellington. So we just bought Alina, you're actually a menace. My Can we show what we bought first? We bought the one ring. The one ring. This is it, guys. This is where Sean proposes. No, it's not <laughs> happening, guys. Gonna be just boyfriend, girlfriend forever. Um, there's partners, a partners. Sorry. Yeah, partners in crime. It was $100, which isn't too bad, to be honest. It's like 60 quid, I think. 60 euro. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, look at this box. And then it has the inscription. Oh, that's cool. Man, it's a savage side. box. I really like Sean. <laughs> you have to write that the whole way. Lena. Thanks, Sean. <laughs> it's so pretty. We're going to uh, head on now to a couple more film locations. Wellington is brimming with locations. My ring. Alina's delighted here. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's taking hold her already. Uh, so we're gonna head over to where they filmed like get off the road quick get and, off like, the road oh. Get off the road quick If I take one more step I'll be the first way from home I've ever been where are we, Scene. Lena? Scene. Where's Guys, the Oscar? Get the Oscar. Welcome to Get Off The Road! Quick! <laughs> Scene. So it was kind of windy in this location, so I'll spare your ears. But you know us, as soon as we get to a Lord of the Rings spot, we have to reenact the scene. I think we should get off the road. Get off the road! Oh, I, 
Running's off, running's off. It's the Nazca. So guys, that will be the end of our Lord of the Rings for today. Don't you worry, it's not gonna be all Lord of the Rings today. But uh, yeah, we're at the, I think this is where Mount Victoria is. We're actually gonna do that tomorrow morning. We're actually gonna go down to the museum. There's lots of free museums in Wellington. So we're quite excited to see those now. We had a little bit of time before heading to the museum, so we wanted to walk around the CBD area of Wellington, and that's definitely not what I was expecting. Now, we did spend the last month in remote spots on the South Island, so maybe we're just not used to cities anymore, but this place was big and clean. It also had a mixture of architecture that was pretty unique and definitely not like other cities that we visited before. So we're on the way to the Te Papa Museum. Uh, free entry, but paid parking. <laughs> That's how they get you. So there's always something. It's four door four dollars an hour in the actual museum parking um, but we parked right beside it which is five dollars an hour and not much difference but there is just more space in the other one it's pretty jammed in this one museum of new zealand te papa tongaria was once again completely free love to see it and pretty big ah oh, here we go Sean and a rock sitting in a tree. Look how nice that is. Look how amazing the colour is. Oh, stuff. No, it is cool. Wow, look at this. Engraved. I'm living with a menace. We found our bird, guys. There he is. Oh, that's what I saw in multiple sounds. Kia. Okay, Sean, next time, t take notes. Right? We're gonna find one before we leave. Yeah, we do. Now we do have to. One of our favorite things to do when visiting a new city is going to museums because I find that it's a great way of learning about the culture of the country that you're visiting and, of course, its history. This museum had a lot of Maori influence, which we actually don't know too much about. It was great to learn more and read about its history. Also, we got to see a lot of cool rocks. The museum also had a great view of Wellington City if anyone is interested. So we had a nice walk. Mm. How's a windy your day? walk. How's my day? It's been nice. It's been really nice. We've seen a lot of Lord of the Rings stuff today. Mm. We got the one ring. It's on Lena's finger. Well, fur. And uh, yeah, we were gonna head out drinking, but it's go like, out on the town. But it's hella windy. Yeah. Gonna rain. And it's like a forty-five minute walk. And it's a bit of a walk from here. So we we decided to take a rain check on it and hopefully go to a bar or a pub. You know, just kind of a smaller town. Yeah. But we're more beside. Yeah, because we're, we're not big drinkers anyway, you know? Well, yeah, we're literally going to go out for one cocktail. It was going to be one. Food. So we're like, ah, oh, we may as well push it. We've got chicken that needs to be cooked. We've got that on clearance. God, we're cheap guys. What can we say? <laughs> we love a clearance. <laughs> yeah. We love clearance. Listen, at the end of the day, it's better for the world if people buy the clearance product rather than ending up in the bin. Yeah, yeah. And, because that know, animal's gone to waste now. Literally, literally. It's yeah, terrible. I'd it's terrible. Anyway, Sorry. we're gonna get we're gonna start on dinner yeah, here. Okay. Chicken okay. burgers. Chicken burgers. Chick chick. 
just started to cook and um, we have a guest. You you coming in for dinner? Yeah. Oh, you're gonna be dinner. <laughs> <laughs> This is how we cook when it's windy. Typically, <laughs> I like to actually stand in the crack here. It just helps the flame. Mustn't to the flame. We, we've got a gas stove, so wind, it's not your friend. No. Something you wouldn't really be used to cooking at home a lot of the time. You've got a gas stove at home. There's no wind in the home. There's no wind in you've the home. You've got four lovely walls to keep the wind out, but <laughs> in Wellington, it's windy. Windy welly, that's for sure. What? Where are your wellies in windy welly? Because <laughs> it's also wet welly. Wet willy. Sean! <laughs> Here we have our Oh, that looks good. Are you ready? Uh, teamwork there, a little mm. bit the I did the chicken. For sure. Which means I just put the chicken on and then watched it for 20 minutes while Liam did all the work. <laughs> I like making burgers anyways, so. So it doesn't matter me. All right, let's watch some. Okay. Lord of the Rings, maybe. So there we have it. Our first day on the North Island is over. And I must say, Wellington is pretty nice. Even though we didn't get the best weather, but we still had a great time walking and hiking as the city is abundant with things to do. Good morning. It's the next day and- We're, we're leaving Wellington. Yeah, we're just gonna leave. <laughs> um, it's grand and all, but just what we wanna do is kind of go to Lord of the Rings filming locations and they're outside of the Wellington. Mountains, so, so we just kind of fueled up, got a shop in with the pack and save. Love it. And we've got a green light, so we're gonna move. And in next week's episode, you'll get to see how we visit Lord of the Rings sites and do a pretty sketchy drive. Just go, just go, just go. Of Antioch and the kingdom of Jerusalem. Didn't know. <gasps> Elf ears. Stop. 55 beans. <laughs> Oh, I think I've broken something. It's a carrot. <laughs>